from Jose Laraz comes Rest in Pieces from 1987. And sometimes you just watch a movie. And I paid good attention to this. I had my uh, full attention and focus on this. I still don't exactly know what the hell was going on here. You're introduced to Bob and Helen Hewitt, this young couple who have been left a mansion and a large sum of money from an aunt who has seemingly killed herself while making her will video. And we have this group of tenants that stay in the houses round about this mansion. These group of people who are really odd and twisted. We also have the fact that they believe uh, the ant is back in spirit form with them. Turns out strange things start to happen almost immediately to Helen as we see images of the, the ant trying to kill her or murder her in various ways. Turns out, I think, I could be completely off base here, but the people who are tenants of this building are either um, ghosts themselves or zombies of people who committed suicide at one point. And they are trying to encourage Helen to commit suicide as well. And the reason behind that is never really elaborated on. And I don't really think it needs to. It, it's a movie that takes a little while in getting where it's going and feels extremely odd in the manner that it goes to get there. Um, it has these scenes that feel as if they're not connected to each other, as if they've almost forgotten uh, part of the, the story that they're telling. You get this group of people who seem really happy and exhilarated to get to kill somebody and they'll do it just for whatever reason and it's the, they have this strange way of doing it. They'll line up and they'll all take turns in stabbing the victim. But for some reason I kind of enjoyed Rest in Pieces for all its misgivings, for its crazy plot twists, for its lack of plot cohesion, for its overlit sentiments with uh, scenes, it just was odd and yet somehow fully compelling. I've sat for several days on this one trying to get my head around the plot of it and it just doesn't really make much sense but I don't think it has to. Um, it's a late Laraz movie, it is really well done with its special effects uh, that it has later on. Uh, there's a wonderful one where uh, our character Helen gets to rip the face off one of the characters and of course it's a, probably a mannequin of some sort but it's really well done and shot in such a creative way. There's some fun sequences within this as well, particularly the swimming pool sequence where uh, all the tenants turn up to haunt or terrorise Helen while she's in the pool refusing to let her get out, uh, trying to cajole her and it becomes a kind of crazy mind warp of a movie as these characters are trying to push Helen into suicide by putting pressure on her, by playing mind games on her, by torturing her, drugging her. And like I said, it's never clear what these characters are. Are they zombies? Are they ghosts? Are they the reanimated dead of some sort? It's never explained. And it's one of those movies that gives you an ending that is completely, utterly bonkers. Not in a good way. It's just crazy. It leaves the movie on a finale where you're like, what the hell just happened here? This is crazy. Rest in Pieces is a movie that is weird. Very weird. Um, strangely set up. I'm sure somebody had an idea of what the plot was at some point on this one. And I'm not going to say it's a bad movie. I don't think it's a bad movie. Uh, I was entertained enough I was really curious about what the heck they were going to do next. But, uh, yeah, it's a tough one to recommend. You'd have to be a fan of, uh, of Lara's um, or have a, a nostalgic feeling for this movie to really throw yourself into it. If you have seen it, I would love to know your opinion of it. If you can break down the plot a little bit more for me and let me know what the hell those things were... Uh, Great, let me know in the comment box below, I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.